Hello dear fragheads, how are you all doing? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. 6 a.m. here uh, on the, not almost, almost 6 a.m., not on the dot. Welcome back to the channel. I'll be doing two episodes today, uh, one list and one individual review. Hopefully you're doing good and as winter approaches, I'm doing a lot of winter lists. Uh, so I just want to say, mention this and I've been noticing some comments, people like giving me ideas and then, you know, this mostly a sarcasm, like, why don't you do this tree? I mean, like funny, funny list ideas because, you know, people don't like maybe list at times, but there are uh, many reasons to live for, you know, look forward to in life because you take life easily. Life is not that serious um, because it's not going to last forever. So always take this like, you know, like a game or, you know, something to be enjoyed for fun, you know, uh, take, take it like that. All right. So that's why I do lists because many people seem to like this multiple fragrance one video. Okay. So winter time comes uh, for dating scenario for men. I'm suggesting 15 fragrances today okay and i'm wearing this let me show you it's not part of the list it's my scent of the morning it's Guerlain low medial uh, edp the old style bottle so this is fantastic like the cherry uh, leather uh, freshness you know very sweet nice fragrance but the newer formulation i don't know how that works but this 15 that i have today some of them are discontinued but you can find them at good prices so mostly dating purpose you're looking for something sexy uh, rather long lasting Cold weather appropriate, uh, projects a lot, and then maybe you'll get compliments, sweet, sexy types, all right? And not necessarily everything has to be sweet. Some could be a little bit spicy, a little bit boozy. You'll see. So uh, let's start one by one. First fragrance I'm going to show you from House of Azaro. This is uh, one of the flankers that did got discontinued from this line, okay? So this is called Nighttime Azaro Purom line, okay? Like Azaro Purom Nighttime. So there are three in this lineup, Black Onyx, I think. I'm sorry if you hear some noise, it's construction outside, <laughs> they work all night. This one, Elixir, and then I think there's one more called Black Onyx, okay. Uh, there are two, uh, the same fragrance under two names, I forgot the other one, uh, Silver Black, okay. So if you have this one, why do I suggest this one? Because the name, Nighttime, yeah, Nighttime, you go out dating for colder months with leather jacket, a little bit want to be sexy, but if your budget is an issue, this is a good budget fragrance, even though this is discontinued. I don't know how much it's selling for your in your region, but I get this for a good deal here. It's a uh, 30 something dollars, 35 to under 40 dollars. So you get fantastic longevity with this. It gets nice little uh, citrusy orange opening. I get kind of like a grapefruit, like opening is very, very fresh. Okay. Or you feel like, oh, this dark bottle, why does it smell fresh? So afterwards, it starts going to a little bit peppery, a little bit spicy. Okay. In that way. So it's a good fragrance to wear and it's long lasting. Nighttime Bazaro. Pour home line, try it. Number 40, I'm going to go with the backup bottle that I bought. Every winter I buy this. My old bottle I think got finished. I don't know where I kept it, but this is a new bottle. This is Mont Blanc Individual. Uh, there were rumors that this will be discontinued and whatnot. And there's new flanker out. I haven't tried that out. But Individual remains like a classic. Check out my review. It's like a sweet, spicy. Uh, you can say it's a classic smell. You know, it's uh, basically a sweet perfume that has... Uh, like a familiar vibe you have smelled this before but dating scenario you know like individual always works it's very sophisticated fragrance still for me uh, sometimes got overhyped but good fragrance for dating nonetheless okay Mont Blanc individual long lasting perfume for winter next one uh, this is my backup bottle I'm not showing you the almost finished bottle but this is called Roca's Man or Roja's Man okay beautiful bottle I love these bottles and this is a coffee based perfume one of the first ones that I came across and I fell in love with a note of coffee I have one more in the list, but Roca's man, it's like a nice little gourmand, sweet, fresh gourmand. And uh, when you put this on, I can't smell it because I haven't sprayed it. It's totally unsprayed. Uh, this juice color in time, uh, mind you, it's going to get into like this gray color, you know, like a, a gray slash uh, maroon color uh, from this lavender color. So that's fine. You know, the darker the juice is going to be more potent, but it's really, really nice gourmand coffee based scent, which is fresh. Check out my review on Roca's man. Roca's Moustache is a good fragrance. This is also a great fragrance. Next one I'm going to show you is one of my recent buys and it's a budget perfume. Man, this one lasts a long time. The bottle is beautiful. I'm in love with this perfume. And this fragrance, I think you can get it like 20, maybe $25 stops, not more than that. And this fragrance is called Mocha Wood. Okay, Mocha Wood or Mocha Wood. Okay, and I think this is from Fragrance World. I forget the house name all the time. Take a look at that bottle design. I mean, the cap, everything, the juice color. If you like fragrance like Montal, Mancera, like they're uh, mostly Mancera's uh, vanilla slash rose slash fruity, those kind of DNA, this is that. 
Sometimes it feels like a gourmand, Turkish delight. You know, it's something that you want to eat. And it also has rose, but where uh, with minimal spray, you will be really enjoying this fragrance. I think this fragrance will be beautiful in colder months. Even look at the detailing on the sprayer, beautiful. And I love the sound of the click. Okay, beautiful fragrance. This is called Mocha Oud. Uh, I purposely chose this for this kind of scenario. February, uh, Valentine's Day, this is going to be beautiful fragrance. And don't worry, I'll write down the names as usual. And uh, next one, I'm going to show you the robot. <laughs> My favorite robot. This is called Pakuraban Phantom, okay? Pakuraban, obviously, Pakuraban Versace. This house is going to be, you know, be in this kind of list because they are sweet, they're powerful, and they make fragrances mass appealing, you know? People in general, ladies, if you're, if you're a dude, you know, and you're wearing this to impress your lady or going out, you want to get a compliment, and you just started dating, this is the kind of fragrance that's really, really nice, playful, a little bit flirty. So Phantom, basically, it's sweet opening, but it gets a little bit green on the dry down. And I think this fragrance is kind of sexy, long lasting, projects a lot. It's a fun fragrance for dating purpose in winter. Pakurban Phantom, what a cool bottle to have. I'm waiting for the female version of, version of that to arrive in Bangladesh. I'll buy that. Okay, that's going to be good too. Next one, similarly, theme some of this fragrance will smell kind of similar, but it's not the same. This is Jean Paul Gaultier's Candle uh, for men, Candle Purum. Looks like that king, you know, like that crown. Love this cap. I like this cap more than Dolce & Gabbana K. Both of them are sort of like king sort of crown. This one is caramel, okay? Fresh caramel, sweet. And it's definitely, if you smell caramel before, this is going to smell a lot like that. I do love scandal by night. I love the scandal for women. Every single scandal flankers are beautiful for women. But men's, I think there's a new flanker out. I need to check it out. But man, all year round, you can wear this sweet perfume. Got some freshness to it. It's just a lovely, youthful, sexy fragrance. Even if you go dating, clubbing, this fragrance will cover your whole night, okay? Scandal, Purum, beautiful projection. Next is a classic. I'm showing my vintage bottle of 2000. It's before basically, I think 2015 or 16. Before it got reformulated, this is Sageman Preve. If you take a look at the juice color, this used to be not uh, this color. This used to be ash color, you know, like something like this. This color used to be, see the difference? Okay, CH Men, now the new versions are good. They are, they are not bad. I don't find that much uh, like differences, but this one performed a lot better. You know, like opening whiskey note. It's very sweet. Pomelo whiskey. It got leather. I don't want to spray this because I am waiting for winter. This is going to be a beautiful winter perfume, especially if you're going for winter, like dating. Even if you have wife for a number of years, like you are dating still uh, when you're married. You know, those couples who have couple goals, this kind of fragrance is always like the, the lady would say, you smell sexy, man, you know, and it br bring back some fire, you know, it's very nice. The whiskey note is very beautiful. The opening two hours is magic. Okay, I highly recommend this, CH Men, Preve. Next one, there's a bit of uh, like greenery, like cannabis note here with that grapefruit and goes a little bit like a leather, some spices. It's a weird one, okay? Um, I think if you like Nishan Escaragos, you're going to like this. I feel there are a lot of, Similarities between this one and that one, but this one is much more affordable. It's a designer perfume, but uh, I also get this great vibe from this. Okay, I don't know why. This is uh, Carolina Herrera Bad Boy Le Parfum. Not to be confused with the other flankers like the Cobalt or the Silver version or um, the original Bad Boy. This is the best from the line. I sniffed them all. There's nothing that comes close to this. This is niche quality juice in a designer bottle. If you do like to take a little bit of risk, like you want, don't mind spraying something that nobody's wearing. You want to be the first person to wear in your area. This is a fragrance, okay? That cannabis note, it's just, uh, don't worry about that. Like people not gonna look at you funny, like, hey, uh, are you like an addict or something? No, but this fragrance has huge, huge scent cloud. Okay, scent bubble, scent cloud, sillage. Definitely give it a try. You may uh, are taking a risk, but it may, pay off you know well worth it definitely for me i love this perfume bottle as well bad boy le parfum next one it's, it's a discontinued fragrance but get it while you can still this is called versace eros flame everybody knows this beautiful bottles okay this is a little bit of deviation from the original uh, eros and i just love this perfume it's kind of like a passionate fruity a little bit boozy opening followed by the tonka and the vanilla but there's no mint in this that's the difference between the eros and this uh, very playful perfume. Ladies love this kind of fragrances. Very easy, uh, long-lasting too. Versace Eros Flame. Check out my review. Next one, 
yes check out the ranking on this today okay and i'm very happy that i put it so high up in the order because i love it if you know a uh, little bit like gourmand uh, i feel like this is like a biscuit you know like just fresh baked biscuits that comes out of bakery expensive and a little bit of a gourmand touch a little bit less boozy but a lot of sweetness and salty caramel this is the fragrance okay and i just love it you see the bottle you'll be like wow okay this perfume i mean just budget fragrance but the quality of the longevity and quality of this is so high up you know like it's like here it's like 9 10 that's the quality of this fragrance it's kind of like angel shares clone but uh one of the best clones hands down minus the boozy note this is called kamra by latafa check it out look at this it looks like a glass and the juice color is just mesmerizing love it get it while you can okay so top five sweet trend continues discontinued fragrance i'm gonna get a backup bottle soon when this one runs out i have about half i have 40 ml left this is a reveal for him uh, you guys know this is my legacy daniel's icon this one diorum intense these are some fragrances i go by hugo boss bottled these are some of the fragrances people know me by like i wear them as signature scents okay uh, sweet boozy um, everything is in it you know basically if you like sweet fragrances if you like lamal ultra male special ultra male don't go for that uh, that's so expensive now this one you can get under 40 dollars still amazing longevity winter time trust me it's no don't tell anybody you're wearing a CK perfume okay people ask you what you're wearing just smile <laughs> that's it CK reveal for him amazing 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 fragrance number four let me go with Salvatore Ferragamo Vumo my favorite perfume this is the other coffee sort of fragrance I was talking about uh, this is like being in secret recipe having a cappuccino and they say tiramisu but you know you can do whatever you want in your head but longevity quality projection this is a fragrance you wear nobody is going to just say you smell cheap this smells expensive this smells nice playful perfect dating fragrance salvatore ferragamo vomo highly regarded by me number three i recently got a new bottle my older bottle almost finishing i used to have a huge bottle of this one this is la molle parfum and i got this one a little bit smaller bottle 125 ml doesn't matter this winter i'm gonna rock this for sure um, this is got this one has everything in it this is the most complete lamal modern interpretation okay i would say that if you like lamal this is a bit different than the original lamal dna but man this fragrance got pear sweetness vanilla spices cardamom um what else in the tonka a lot of things going on i don't remember all the notes this is a 10 of 10 fragrance okay um absolute love there's just no weakness in this fragrance great performer great dating scenario kind of fragrance okay lamal le parfum can be a signature scent amazing fragrance number two sweet trend pakorabon one minute elixir this is gonna show up and pop in a lot of my videos because i love it this fragrance is perfection in a bottle uh, this is my second favorite lamal flanker people ask like what's your most favorite then uh, this one the unicorn <laughs> uh, i don't show this anymore because this is so impossible to find this is one million absolutely gold that bottle this got oud this one it's potent i love that perfume i would love to suggest that but since you can't get that, you can get Elixir. Modern, sweet, playful. Um, like this is a safe DNA for people who love fragrances, which are sweet, sexy, gourmand. It also smells like uh, you wanna, you know, this is gonna be like one of those nights that you go on on a date and you just come out very, very happy. That's it. <laughs> one million, absolutely. No, not absolutely gold. This is one million Elixir. You get confused sometimes. Number one today, what's number one today? uh of that tops everything this is gonna be a bit expensive perfume this is niche price tag this is uh armani empuri armani stronger with you leather uh, i do have the oud i do like that it's more versatile more wearable but ultimate power is this fragrance it's around 150 dollars if price tag wise or more a bit hard to find hunt it down you just need literally two sprays of this fragrance if you like armani code absolute uh, this is a more beautiful version of that i think so it's more playful it has everything it's just sexy sweet vanilla uh, a little bit spicy last 10 to 12 hours plus amazing fragrance okay so these are my uh, suggestion for winter dating scenario so let me finish up with one tip some of you be like hey i live in a country where it's not that cold okay it's not supremely cold like for freezing i just need literally like a cardigan or something but fragrances do not last like 
from evening if I wear it I want something to last about seven eight hours plus the whole night basically covered uh, three tips I'll give you first of all don't just spray on your skin because maybe your skin is not the most friendly towards perfume so wear a lot on the shirt go heavy with the sprayer second thing you can do you can do gel unscented gel or lotion so if your skin is moisture like moisturized okay uh, high likely it's gonna last longer okay third tip I'll give you get this fragrance okay it's just I don't know how it works I think it's ISO super or something heavy this is called molecule 01 layer any perfume with this that's gonna become beast mode even Dolce Gabbana 1 EDP which I didn't show today uh, I get monstrous perfume performance with this one it comes and goes you know it's that even if you wear this on its own it's an interesting perfume but man i love this fragrance just to layer molecule 01 by eccentric molecules okay that's my tip of the day and uh, hopefully you enjoy the video take care and uh, enjoy these fragrances hopefully you'll get compliments and you'll get your partner to be very very happy that you smell like the best dude in the town take care and have a nice day bye bye